Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is just going to be a quick little tour through my home beauty room. So my beauty room in the house is basically where I practice my makeup, where I get ready, where I do my hair, um, where I film videos and if I ever work from home then this is the room that clients come to and this is where I do their makeup or teach lessons etc. So because I've got my room how I want it now and it looks nice and pretty, then I thought I would just show you guys around, I would show you my setup to where I film, just to give you guys an idea if um, any of you are maybe thinking about like starting YouTube or wanting to film like YouTube tutorials, you can kind of get an idea then of like how um, my setup is and how a setup works. Um, and yeah, stuff like that. So if you think this video is going to be interesting to you, then please keep on watching. So this is what my beauty room looks like. You're currently on a tripod, like a floor standing tripod, so I can swivel you around a little bit. Um, but I am going to show you in depth of like each desk and stuff like that, the way I've got things set up and like little things that I've got on display. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So starting off, this little setup by here is the background that you see in my videos. I've got my shelves, um, I've got my desk, my iMac. This is where I like obviously edit all of my videos, do a lot of work stuff, um, update my website, this and that, you know, general work stuff. And then obviously, like I said, you've got the shelves on either side with lots of little pretty knicky knack things. Got a nice little chair with a nice check blanket <laughs> and you have shelves over the other side as well. So starting off at the top of the shelves. So up here is the P. Louise box that I had with the Christmas collection. And I just keep that on top because it's quite sentimental to me. Um, and then I have two bomb cosmetic candles. Then on the shelf I just have a Ted Baker box from when Jamie bought me a Ted Baker purse. Um, a guest box that come that came with my guest my guest purse. I can't even talk. And then just behind that is a black opium box, just because I think it's really pretty. And then I've got two candles. The grapefruit one is from TK Maxx, um, or Home Sense, one of those. And the mint chocolate chip one, I have no idea where that is from. Down to this shelf, we just have a nice pretty little tin and my light up L initial. Then onto the shelf, this is a few little pretty knicky knack things. I'm just gonna. Um, show you a few of these because I think they're really cute. Okay, so on this shelf there is a few little pretty like nicky knack things. So first of all, there is this Olivia Burton London box. This come with a um, watch they had off my mum and dad for Christmas about two Christmases ago, and I just think the box is like really pretty with the print, so I decided to keep it. Then I actually have this little bag which contains um, my first ever baby bracelet. My mum actually gave this to me on my wedding day and I just thought it was unbelievably cute and such a sentimental gift and so thoughtful so I just keep it on display. I can't actually believe my wrists were that tiny at one point in my life. Then I have this daughter mug that my mother bought me. It says, always my daughter, forever my friend. I just love cute things like this and anything with cute packaging goes on display just because I think it's really pretty and I just feel like it adds a bit of aesthetic to the room. This candle is an engagement candle that was gifted to me by one of my best friends. Um, it says, always and forever, um, an engagement is the beginning of a happily ever after. I haven't actually burnt this because it just looks too pretty, like the packaging is like so cute. And I haven't actually burnt it yet because I just think it looks lovely as a little display item. Then I have this bracelet by you. This is a Love Struck Tiffany bracelet that Jamie bought me for our wedding as my wedding present. I haven't actually got it on. Um, I don't wear it to work because I'm petrified that like I will lose it and then I'll be mortified. So I don't actually wear it to work. I only wear it for like special occasions because it is quite valuable to me and special. So I just rest this here on my little shelf. Then I just have this little pretty trinket box that my parents bought me a couple of years ago. Keep it on display because it just looks really nice. I've got collectible 50 pence pieces in there and then a few pairs of earrings. This is also another little trinket box that my mother gifted me for my wedding day. It says, Laura, my beautiful daughter, love, ma'am. Then when you open it, there is a little sixpence in a bag. Um, it's classed as good luck to, for a bride to receive a sixpence on a wedding day. Um, and then I've just got a few pair of earrings, the Pandora ones that Jamie bought me and the clog eye ones that my dad bought me to walk down the aisle with. So this is 
such a little spe like special trinket to me, so I just want to keep it on show. So coming on to the next shelf, we have this bride pouch. This was given to me by my bridesmaids as a like bridal present in my bride box and I just absolutely love it. <laughs> so I just keep it on show because it is a beautiful like nudie blush pink colour and I'm all about the nudes, the blush pinks, the golds, so they know me so well. And then underneath is just another candle, another Laura Ashley tin, just a pink flowery one. And this is actually my little tip jar. <laughs> from work that I've been meaning to bag up and change so I just pop that but they will just pretend we've never seen that so further down on the shelf I know you can't really see it very well but I just have a picture of my mum and me from about four years ago um which looks like this I look very very different um the reason it's not actually up is because the actual back is broke and it doesn't like stand but I don't actually want to get rid of it so I just like lay it down there so I know where it is and I've got it but yeah that is this must have been like 2015 maybe um so quite a few years ago we look my mum actually looks very much the same she hasn't aged at all she is very youthful um but me yeah I've changed lots lots and lots so then that photo lies on top of this. This says, to the beautiful bride Laura, 15th of the 12th, 2018. This is off my bridesmaids. This is my bridal box. Um, I'm not going to show you what's inside because I think I've just put like little bits and bobs inside because I wanted to keep the box as like a keepsake. But yeah, this was a beautiful present off my bridesmaids and it contained lots of very lovely, lovely gifts. And then down on the bottom shelf is just my camera bag. You don't really need to see that because there's nothing really in there, only like lenses and batteries and stuff like that. So now we come on to this side. At the top there, I've just got a Victoria's Secrets bag just because I think they're really pretty. Like I really like the Victoria's Secrets bag. And I just think it looks like a nice aesthetic to any type of makeup room or beauty room. Next shelf, we just have two perfume boxes. I, I don't know why, but I'm a bit like a hoarder for perfume boxes. And I don't really know why. My mum always tells me to check them out. But I just think they look pretty cute. Like, if it's a pretty package and I want to display it, if that makes any sense. So I've got the Gucci Guilty. And then I think behind it is Boss The Scent, which is one of my all-time favourite perfumes. Um, which reminds me, if you want me to do, like, a perfume collection. I did one um, a few years ago when I first started YouTube. I kind of raked in about 12,000 views, I think. So <laughs> clearly they're popular videos. Um, but I haven't done an updated one since. And obviously my senses has changed since then. And I have found a lot of nice new perfumes. So if you want me to do an updated perfume collection video, then leave a comment in the comment section so I know. And I will be sure to get that filmed for you. So on the next shelf, we just have a few little pretty bits and bobs. So the flower vase is from Asda's, and I think that was about £4. Then obviously I have Boss the Scent and the Boss um, Lotion to go with it, or Shower Gel, I can't really remember which one it is, um, because that is one of the perfumes that I always grab for, it is one of my favourite scents. And then we have two little jewellery boxes, so the flower one at the top I think again is from Asda's or Tesco's, um, and the pink like patterned jewellery box that you see underneath. My mum bought me that for Christmas a couple of years ago, so I'm not too sure where that's from, but like I just keep my um, jewellery in there, my earrings, my bracelets, all stuff like that when I'm not wearing them, just to keep them safe. Freddie, I really wish you'd stop making them vile noises. He's like eating his paw and I don't really know why, so please try and excuse this minging noise in the background. So on to the next shelf, I just have a Yankee Candle in the scent Snowflake Cookie, one of my favourite scents. I try and like last it out a little bit because it's only like available at Christmas time I think, so I never want to burn it. Then I have a little unicorn trinket dish. As you can see there is like a nest of spiders, I'm not joking. They are just all like separate lashes that I literally take off and if I've thrown the packaging out then I just pop it onto this little trinket dish so I don't lose them along with some Kirby grips because no matter how many cave grips you ever buy you always always lose them so i just keep them on a little trinket dish just so i know where they are and then to the right is a little mrs Potts and chip it is the china ones um i was dying for these because i'm a big disney addict and my mom and dad bought them for me for christmas about two years ago maybe three years ago i just i can't keep track of time so i have no idea when um but i keep these on display i've never used like that as a teapot or anything like that it is purely just a display item um i would be mortified if i ever like dropped it so it's just kept up the way on a shelf safe so nothing can happen to it 
So on to the next shelf, I just have a few copper wire baskets and as you can see I have loads of lashes in the basket. This is where I store my lashes for when I do makeup looks, um, like fresh ones. Um, there's a few styles in there from Lux London Lashes that I haven't actually tried so that's why they're there, ready to be tested in some new makeup tutorials. So a bit of a boring shelf, nothing much really going on here. So for this shelf I'm actually going to get them out to show you because you can't really see because of the way the shelves and the desks are organised. So I keep two photos on this shelf of, this is of my nan and my grant, which is my mother's parents who sadly passed away when I was little. My popo passed away when I was two and my nan passed away I think when I was about five or six, maybe even seven. Um, so I was very young when I lost them. So I like to keep this photo and I also took this to the wedding as well um, to put on display just just because, you know, it's nice to have your loved ones near and yeah, that is my one photo of my Nan and Granch. I also keep this photo of my other Granch, which is my father's father. Um, he died in 2000 and I want to say 2011, I think. Um, and I was very close to him, so I like to keep his photo. Again, I took this to the wedding. Um, because, you know, like I said, is I'm quite a spiritual person and I like the thought of having photos there at events and stuff like this. And having photos up just makes you feel closer to your loved ones that aren't here anymore. So that is my other grunge. So in a frame at the back of our shelf, I have this poem that was gifted to me um, by my mother and father on my wedding day. I'll just quickly read it to you because it is quite a lovely poem. Um, it says, to our daughter Laura on your wedding day, it seems like only yesterday they put you in our arms. We looked into your tiny eyes and promised you no harm. In that moment we had known our dream had come to life, but little one, you're now grown up and soon to be a wife. We'll look back upon these years of all our ups and downs, every triumph, every challenge, as you wear your wedding gown. So on the day you marry, keep this feeling close at hand, our love will now go with you as you wear your wedding band. And though we miss that little one, our love will never end. We're so very proud of who you are, our daughter and our friend. With love from mum and dad. I just thought that was so cute and so, so thoughtful. So I framed it and I actually want to get it put on the wall. But I haven't figured out like where I want, want things on the walls in this room yet. So I just popped it on that shelf so it's safe and I know where it is. Down on the bottom shelf then, down by there, it's just a few little candles and stuff like that. I also have my gold bag that I take with me when I go travelling. And just some hairspray and another box. This big box by you, I don't know if you can see it, this big black one. That's going to be the giveaway box. So I'm keeping that because it's like so huge. So that's just tucked away by there nicely. So now moving on to my desk where I edit everything. Obviously you can see that like this is my computer, this is my iMac. Um, I actually edit on a software called Final Cut Pro. I used to use iMovie but then when I purchased this iMac I bought Final Cut Pro to go on it. Um, just because I think I prefer my videos edited on that software. iMovie does the job fine if you are thinking of starting YouTube videos. Um, especially for YouTubers starting out and I know that some like bigger YouTube still use iTunes, but just for me personally, I prefer Final Cut Pro. Um, so this little like emoji thing of me, um, like a little portrait thing, um, I actually had done it for my logo. Um, it is actually a picture of me and then she just graphic designed it into more of like an animated style. And I just have this on my background because I'm waiting for my, I'm actually waiting for my wedding photos to come back so I can put one of them as my background. But I just thought this looked kind of cute and it looks nice in my little background of my YouTube videos. So that is why you stare at a picture of me in the background. And then to the left of my desk, I just have a candle that I like, just because I'm in love with candles, I love nice smells. Um, that was just a Yankee candle in the scent Glistening Christmas. Um, just got my phone on a phone holder. The bouquet of artificial flowers behind is from a Instagram company called Fifi de Fleur um, Florist. And I actually had these off the girls I work with as my engagement present last year. Um, they are Dunning, and I just love the fact that they're artificial because they actually look real um, but obviously they're never going to die <laughs> they're going to be there forever and I just think it looks as a lovely decorative piece on my desk then to the right of my desk I just have a few little books um, a candle holder and a candle the candle holder, this like big bowl um, I don't know if it's candle holder but that's what I use it for this is from Home Sense about a year ago um, absolutely love it because when you light a candle in there when it's dark it really gives a nice effect then I have three books. So I have the Sophie, Sophia Amoruso Gilboss books, um, the Capture Your 
Dial and the Billion Dollar Blog, Million Dollar Blog or Billion Dollar Blog. And then I just have a little pink box and the candle is from, I want to say TK Maxx or HomeSense. Um, I love going in there for candles because you really find like nice quirky things. Um, so they just displayed on the right side of my desk. So now you are looking at my cube storage. This is actually a new addition to my booty room. You're probably going to see the dog because he's always sniffing around. He just like loves to be in here with me. Um, but yeah, this whole cube storage is from Argos, um, including the cubes. You have to buy the cubes separate to the cube storage, if that makes any sense. Um, but I bought these because I needed places to like store my hair stuff, my like skincare, little bits of bobs like that, perfumes and all stuff like that. So I'm not gonna show you through every single box because some of them are like, like that one down by you is full of like books. I am a proper bookworm. I didn't know if like you knew or if I've talked about it before, but I am a proper bookworm. So this one by here and this one are actually jam packed with books. Some I've read, some I'm yet to read. This one by here is full of my skincare products. This one is just a bit of a like storage where I put like little bits and bobs. This one down by here contains all my perfumes. This one over here contains all my paperwork. This one by here, like I said, contains books. This one up by here contains my hair care products. And then this one down by here contains my uh, straighteners, curlers, brushes, hair dryers, all my hair care electrical stuff. So zooming you in to this side of my like cube storage, um, I just have three perfumes, which are some of my favourite smells on display, just because the bottles are really pretty. Um, and then I have a plaque then that says, I don't even know where it says, um, elegance is when the inside is a beautiful, it's as beautiful as the outside. I thought that was really, really pretty. Um, and then I have the uh, Marc Jacobs Violet Perfume, the Ariana Grande Perfume and the Gucci Bamboo. And I just have that resting on a little pink Paris tray that I picked up when I went to Paris with Talia um, back like three years ago, I think now. Um, so that just little, like, sits by there. I'm actually going to use this, like, area as a background as well for, like, more chatty videos that I'm not going to be needing my desk in front of me. Um, so yeah, that is just, like, that little area. Moving to the middle of the desk, I just have my Goodman's Pink Radio. Um, I absolutely love this. I really wanted, like, a retro-looking radio. Um, so my mum picked this up for me for Christmas one year. Um, and I love it. And it just sits by there nicely. And then over this side of the cube, I have a nice little floral tree lamp, um, a picture of me and my mum in Central Park when we went to New York in 2017. It was bloody freezing, but I loved Central Park, my favourite bit of New York. I just, oh my god, I loved it. And then I have a Yankee candle in the scent Snow and Love. This is actually a present of one of my clients for Christmas, so that just displays by there. And if you're wondering what this little sign is, <laughs> that is actually the arrow sign that we put into the ground for people to find our venue for our wedding, so just like direct them in the right place. Unfortunately, the weather was that horrific that it didn't actually stay in the ground, and I only managed to pick one back up. And I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I just put it there for now because... I have like no other place to put it yet. So moving on to the cube storage, I'm just gonna pull one or two out just for you to have a look. So in this one, like I said, is all my skincare products. So like my pads, my makeup wipes, my makeup removers, my moisturizers, my cleansers, my toners, all that jazz lives in there. It was tidier than this, but you know what it's like when you just check things back and forth. And then over this side, it's just my hair care products. So like brushes, clips, hair sprays, um, serums, like, all stuff to like you know look after you here when you're styling so now we are at the point where I sit and where I film my videos I've got the blinds done it's actually like daylight outside but I didn't want my neighbors to think I was weird like filming like talking to a camera so I've left my blinds down and I have got my studio lights on so this is the desk where I do my makeup um, I have a desk tripod which is a recent purchase I actually purchased off Amazon and it works so much better than having this big ass tripod behind my desk because in my other booty setup, I had the desk pulled out into the middle of the room and it was just messy and pissed me off. And I didn't like it. Next to the tripod, I have my mirror and I have my MacBook. Um, I plug my camera into my MacBook so that I can see myself on the screen of the MacBook. So that if I know that I'm in focus or if they've stopped recording, stuff like that. A lot of people have TV monitors to do this, but I just plug it into my MacBook. 
So these are one of my studio lights. I did have the big soft boxes, but I threw, I didn't throw them out. I just packed them away because they were so big and bulky. These ones are LED ones, so they will last longer as well. And they're a lot slimmer, a lot more compact, a lot smaller. So it just makes like placing them in your beauty room or your filming set, wherever that may be, a lot easier. They have warm lights and they have white lights, so you can adjust the brightness. You have um, a dimmer, there's a dimmable, you know, switch on there so you can turn it up to it down and like I said you've got two different type of light temperatures to film with um, for wherever you choose. Then I have a ring light that is just stationed behind my desk. I'll just zoom out for you to see. So I have this station just going behind my desk on like a bit of an angle just so I've got light in front of me. And then I have a, another studio light set up by here as well. So that is basically my filming setup where I have my lights and everything. And obviously my camera goes on the tripod. I sit on this chair. I do my makeup at that desk. And that is what you see. So on this bit of desk by here, I just have a few foundations, set and sprays and moisturizers that I um, tend to grab for on the regular. They just live by there. Um, just because it makes it easier sometimes. Then this is the other side of the room that you don't see. So I have two like French Louis chairs. They are from um, eBay. I had them in the salon before I brought them home. And then I have a nice big mirror. This is from The Range. I just have a nice little rose gold table there with a lamp that it's not plugged in because I have no electrical sockets on that side, only that side. And then by here, I just keep my little travel bag, my River Island travel bag, and that is a fold-up table. Just in case I need like any extra space um, to put products on or anything, I just keep that folded up out of the way. And then what you see down here is actually, believe it or not, my makeup collection, or part of it. Um, because obviously I work in the salon and I do videos at home, I need something that's gonna be easy to transport makeup back and full. So I don't actually have like a makeup storage in my beauty room in the house because obviously I do a lot of makeup in the salon so I need it to be quite mobile. So I just have a lot of bags, um, makeup kit bags from like my Kit Co um, and Doll Beauty and stuff like that. That gold bag is a big bag from Victoria's Secrets that I carry as well. And this is just a little suitcase that I put it all in. Um, my palettes are loose in there, but everything else is compacted into bags. So I have like a bag, the bag that you see by here um, is like my face powders, my bronzers, my highlighters. Um, I also have bags for like lip products, bags for eye products, bags for pigments, bags for like eyebrow stuff and all bits and bobs like that. I'm not gonna show you my whole makeup collection right now because this video will be hella long. But if you are interested in seeing my makeup collection, obviously I can't really call it storage because um, I bring it back and forth from the salon and home. Um, so I haven't really got a storage solution at this point in time. I just keep it all in like coordinated bags and then I keep it in this suitcase. And then when I'm ready to take it back to the shop, when I got makeup booked in or a lesson booked in, then I will just zip it all up and pop it in the car. <laughs> So yeah, that is basically it guys. That is my little beauty room tour. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped anybody um, or inspired anybody for any type of like setup they want in their own home or if you are looking to do like a beauty room in your house or even if you're just looking for a nice little YouTube setup, I hope this helped you. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Um, is there anything you would have differently, do you think? Or yeah, just let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. You know you get, you know it helps me out a lot. My social media links will be popping up on the screen right about now, so be sure to go and check me out on those. Instagram is where I am most active, so make sure you are follow me on there. And yeah, guys, I don't think there's anything else I have to say. Just like I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are. That is the dog coming in now with a sprout. That is this little sprout toy. So I hope you're having a fantastic week wherever you are and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!